Okay. Rank advancements from last week. Um, Senna Packet is Emerald. Woohoo! And if y'all haven't seen her before and after pictures, this girl like killed it with 21 Day Fix. Oh my god, that's a hot mama with like a bazillion kids. Um, insane. Okay, and let's wait, Rachel, just so you know, um, me and Megan had the wrong address. So none of my people know that this is it, and none of Megan people. So I'm just gonna post it really quick. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then top team builders of the week, we have Madison Avila has two coaches. Rebecca McFarland has two coaches. Christina Balthazar has one coach. Kim Miller has one coach. Marina Kunajeras has one coach. Angie Astri has one coach. Sana Packett has one coach. And Tanaya Alexander has one coach. Woohoo! Go team builders. Um, and okay, Ali, can we, do you have any announcements or anything? Well, I don't have anyone on from my team, so no. We'll just so go no. for this. We'll get straight to the content. Okay. Yeah. And boom, boom, boom. Can everyone see my screen? Thumbs up if you can see it. Okay, cool. So tonight we're going to be talking about finding your niche or niche, whatever the crap you want to call it. Um, and this is seriously what has made a huge difference in my business. I went from like floating around, not really knowing where I fit in and trying to be everything to everybody to really narrowing it down to like, okay, I'm just going to talk to new moms. Like that was my thing. Um, and so when, I hope you guys are taking notes, by the way, because this is really important stuff. Um, when you're thinking about your niche, you want to think about who you are and establish your values, um, who you want to connect with, and who you want to be like the go-to person for. And so who are you? Write down three to five things that make you unique or that make you you. Um, and so if you go to my Facebook page, you can see right away who I am and what I'm about. And people will decide right there on the spot if they want to follow me or if they don't. So if a dude that's like in his 40s comes to my page and be like, I don't want anything to do with this shit. Or if like a college student comes to my page, she'll probably say, I don't relate to her. And that's what I want. I want a small audience of people who relate to me. And those are the people that I want to work with. The more narrow you can define your niche, the better. So when you go to my page, you can see I'm about faith, family, fitness. Um, and I put right here, helping moms live with passion and purpose. So you can see right away I'm working with moms. You can see that I have a little boy. And you can see that I'm, I'm, my faith is important to me just from my header. Okay, and Allie, do you want to just add, like, do you want to split this up, or how do you want to do this? Sure, we can split it up. Okay, so I'll so, do this. You can do this one. All right, so do you develop your own style? You should know your strengths and develop your own style. Um, figure out what works for you, and work to mold the process to align with your strengths. So just like Rachel said in the last slide, you know, know what your strengths are, and work to align what you're doing with those strengths. And don't look at how others succeed and try to emulate them because it might not play to your own skills. Everyone has a different niche and like that's what makes us, that's what makes someone come to you instead of going to somebody else. We all have a similar thing to offer when it comes down to it, but what's gonna draw people to you personally is what makes you unique. So you guys, you don't, don't go and copy my posts and share it and pretend that like that's you because that's what I did in the beginning. I saw like time hop reminds me of this all the time and I'm always so embarrassed, but I seriously would copy Lindsay Matway's posts and post it and pretend that was me. And that crap doesn't work. Like I'm not Lindsay Matway and people can see right through that. Everything that you do has to be authentically you. It has to be your voice. It has to be your story, everything about you. So I would just go to like Hillary Kelly. She's a superstar diamond millionaire coach. I would go to her page and I'm like, if she's posting it, it's gotta be good. So I would just post it and do my own thing. And seriously, people can see right through that. So whatever you're doing, you have to develop your own style, your own be uniquely you. That's like the most important thing. And when you are uniquely you, you'll attract people to you who are like you. 
And so I post that I love wine all the time on Facebook um, at Summit. Were we all drinking wine? Yes. So obviously, like, like attracts like, and that's just kind of what happens. Um, oh, okay. So make a wish list. Who do you want to do business with? And so be really specific. And so like me and Allie are super different. On my wish list, I'm not going to say I want to work with actors because I'm not an actor. <laughs> They're probably like too outgoing and like loud for me. No offense. <laughs> but, like we're totally different people, right? And so write down specifically who you want to be with. And so like I do Facebook ads, which is great for actually targeting who I want to work with. And so I'm defining, I want them to be in the US or Canada, obviously, because that's where Beachbody works. Um, and then defining, I want them to be a mom of young kids. You can even go as far as to like where they shop. So maybe I want people who shop at Banana Republic through, you know, like think about who, where you shop and the kind of things that you do and Put that out there and make your wish list. Allie, do you want to add anything to that one? I mean, just get as specific as possible. Um, in the Marketing Impact Academy with Shaleen Johnson, which me and Megan are both doing, she talks about creating your avatar. Just being super specific, like down to what kind of magazine do they read? Uh, what kind of books do they read? What kind of TV shows are they watching? Because really what it comes down to is when you are working with somebody who is like you, who you can relate to, it's, it makes your job so much easier. You know, you do, you're on the same level. You're talking to people who just understand and get you. Which is exactly what you want. So when we're doing team Zooms, especially during the day when we don't have a husband to help, a lot of times we all have kids running around us like crazy. And if I were working with a 20 something year old guy, he'd be like, oh my God, get your kids under control. But like, we all get each other and we all like know each other. We all go through the same thing, right? And so that's kind of like when you develop your avatar. I know some of you guys have, I know Jean has already done this. Um, Aaron's already done this. But this is something you want to do um like tonight or tomorrow and so this is like taking your niche to a whole nother level and so instead of saying i want to work with um like young moms i could say i want to work with marina and then be super specific about who she is she's a mom of young kids she does this she does that and be really really specific about it um so you can find a picture of your avatar and your avatar most likely will be like how you were before you found Beachbody. And so I can see that my avatar is overweight. She just had a baby and she's struggling to lose the baby. She's struggling to make ends meet as a stay at home mom. And she might have to go get a job to help pay for the bills. And so think about who you were before Beachbody came into your life. And that's a good avatar for you to target because you can really relate to that person. And when you tell your story about how Beachbody changed your life, that person will be able to relate to you so much because, I mean, they're going through exactly what you went through. And they see that you came out of it on the other side or you're in the process of getting out of it and you have a solution for them. That's going to help you understand their why, first of all, which is huge. Like, you're going to be able to relate to what motivates them. And also, another thing I wanted to add is you probably have someone in your downline, if you are already a builder, who is exactly what you're looking for. And you know that when you talk to them, you're like, oh, they just get it. They just get me. We're on the same level. So if you already have someone in your downline, think about what – qualities they possess because we don't we can't always see the qualities that we possess in ourselves but when you really connect with someone who you're working with think about like what that person or those people have in common that can help you create your avatar as well mm -hmm. cool so we're talking um so this is just giving you an example of your avatar um, the first example is a female 25 to 35 years old, works nine to five job with two kids, and they don't know how they're going to make ends meet. And then the really good one, like the exact age, this is what her name is. This is what her profession is. This is what she wants to do. And this is what she's struggling with. 
And so when you're creating your avatar, be specific, really, really specific. And when you have this in writing and you can see that person, get a picture of them, you know, when you're posting something on social media, you're posting to that one person. Think about your avatar and everything should go to that one person. And if they don't find value in what you're sharing on social media, you probably shouldn't post it. It should always be providing value for your avatar. Um, and so this is line, um, number six. Basically, it was just saying, do it now. So like you're a two-star diamond or a five-star diamond. Don't wait until your business is up on its feet. Do it right now because it's going to help you build your business faster. So that, and just when an avatar is not, like my avatar is anyone who loves fitness and wants to lose weight. Like that's so general. That is not a thing. Okay. That's I feel what like I tried to do in the beginning and it did not work. Let me tell you. And so everything that you want to do, you want to pitch to your niche. And so after I had TJ, I was losing my baby weight and I was running these lose the baby weight groups. And I was pitching to my niche. So this is an example of what I posted in Lose the Baby Weight. You want to love what you see in the mirror. You want to be able to fit into your pre-pregnancy clothes. Uh, you want the energy to keep up with your kids. And you want to be a part of the support of moms. So that is like specifically to my avatar and what they want and what they need. So instead of saying, I'm running a challenge group where you can lose five to 10 pounds this month doing 21 day fix with these color controlled containers, help them see how these containers are going to fit into their life. You know, these containers are perfect for the busy actor and you can take them on the go with you. You know, so instead of copying and pasting what other people are saying, think about what you're running with your challenge group and how you can take what someone else is posting, but put your own spin on it so it really relates to your avatar and your audience and who you want to talk to. Um, so Allie found some great examples of top coaches who are awesome at pitching to their niche. So Allie, why don't you talk about who you found? Okay, so... Uh, this first one is Alyssa Schmeiker. She's a 15 star diamond top 10 coach of 2014. Um, I think she spoke at one of the seminars we went to, right, Rachel? Yeah. And he is, he's a nurse, and I couldn't really find one that was super specific to her nursing, but if you go to her being a nurse, but if you go to her website, it's very apparent, or if you go to her like page, it's very apparent that she is looking for nurses who want to do this. Like all of her stuff is based towards that, but she's also, she also has other things that she uses. Like if you see that little arrows on the side, the fun, faith, fitness, friends, She's very, she's spiritual. She has, she talks about faith a lot. So she is like calling all soul sisters. I mean, it just like, you know exactly what she's doing and what she's going for. Everything about that speaks to a certain audience, even the way she's designed it, even what she's wearing, everything about that post speaks to a certain audience. So she attracts a lot of nurses on her team because she shares how being a nurse to her was really frustrating if you follow her on social media, because it's not at all about preventative care. It's just treating the sick people and she wasn't able to really help them. And then when Beachbody came into her life, she was able to recommend Shakeology to people, help them with their fitness and really be a part of preventing them actually needing her nursing. And so she was able to retire from her nursing career and do all of that. And so she shares a lot about her experience with that. And so she attracts a lot of nurses to her. Um, who else? Oh, this is a good one. Allie, this is a great one. one. This is Tara Carr. She, um, her niche is military. She's a military wife. She's specifically like targeting people who are military wives. And this is a great example. You can see it's a little small, but she was talking about how she used her husband's return date from as a deadline to get back into shape. So while he was on leave, she lost I think it was 105 pounds before he came back. 50 pounds. She was 160 to 105. Oh, it's 160 to 105. Yes, okay. 50, 50 pounds. That makes a lot more sense. Um, but yeah, so she, she, she didn't just say I lost this weight. 
she said, I use my husband's return date. And then she put this down there and that makes you want to know about it more. That's a story. That's not just like a before and after picture. That's a story that's geared towards a specific audience. And down there, she invites them, get fit for the homecoming. I mean, that's perfect. It's a perfect example of what we're talking perfect about. Perfect example. Get fit for the homecoming. Mm -hmm. So she's not trying to talk to everybody. She's just talking to military spouses. <laughs> get fit for the homecoming like that is perfect and she's a millionaire coach so like she's really really good at what she does um and then melanie mitro uh she targets moms of young kids too so she always shares um her mentorship groups are um she targets busy moms and so it's like busy moms build a business and that's what she does. So she's not trying to talk to everybody. She's talking to the busy mom who thinks they don't have time to do anything, but they want to add value and add income to their family. Um, so those are just some examples. So you can see that's what really sets the top coaches apart. They're talking to a specific audience and they're not trying to reach everybody. Um, let's see everybody's face. Oh, oh, hey, 29 of you. This is fun. Okay, do you guys have any questions about this topic? Does it all make sense? And do you have a better idea of who your avatar could be? And you know what? I know that this is scary. I, it was scary for me. And to be quite honest, I haven't I haven't really like honed in completely. Um, but just do it. Like if you have to change it and manipulate it as time goes on, fine. But it's going to help you to grow your business, to know who you're targeting, at least for now. And if it changes, fine. But everybody seriously take this to heart and get down to business. Get into the nitty gritty, write it down, and actually start thinking of how you can add value to those people's lives specifically. It's going to blow up your business. So I have something um, before, like before this, which is very helpful. Like I was targeting a lot of Spanish people because that's my niche. But in reality, I am Hispanic, but I'm raised here in the U.S. So I speak more English than I do Spanish. So I found myself with a bunch of people that only spoke Spanish. So anytime I would post in English, nobody would understand anything, which I switched at. So... I now wrote for my avatar that it's a Hispanic bilingual mom that goes to church on Sundays because I go to church on Sundays who has more than three kids with an entrepreneurial heart because they want to, you know, they're at home, but they want to be able to have like their own business, but she can't because she's at home trying to keep the kids all together and always cleaning because Hispanic moms were always cleaning, like really, like seriously, really bad. <laughs> um, but I wasn't really targeting that. So yeah, this was very helpful. Yay. Anyone else want to share their avatar? Uh, actors who are sick and tired of freaking service industry, like completely, if I have to pour one more drink for someone, I'm going to pour it on their freaking head because I just can't. <laughs> Or if I have to pick up one more, actually, you know what? I pet sit now, which is a lot calmer. The dogs are fine. It's the people that then call you and are like, my dog needs like one. And you're like, your dog's a dog. Okay. He likes to walk and he likes to play fetch. So unless I'm going to have to beat you up, let's just move on. So I'm frustrated actors who are in Los Angeles or New York or wherever that, you know, aren't quite at the point where they're working enough to make a stable income, but want to do something more. Not necessarily even out of a, oh, I need a backup plan, but something that I think this just really goes very well with it. Like you're already needing to be fit and healthy, hopefully for yourself and your career. And then this can kind of feed you as opposed to, oh God, I got to go into my Starbucks shift or whatever is going to drain me from my main objective, which is acting. Yeah. So that's me. Awesome. One more person share and then we have to get on the backstage pass. <laughs> I can go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so um, my avatar is someone who um, really wants 
wants to make a change, but for whatever reason, you know, has tried it on their own, but hasn't really been able to maintain that consistency um, for whatever reason, whether it's their life has changed or they just don't know what they're doing at the gym and they just need a little bit of help. Um, and uh, also someone who, you know, loves, loves creativity and doesn't take themselves too seriously, but still wants to reach their full potential. Um, I have it a little more fleshed out in terms of like, like actor and things like that. But those are some of the key points that I like to look for. So, cool. cool. Well, your homework assignment is to create your avatar. And so get a picture of them, write down five to 10 things that that person like is all about and post it in our team page or Allie's team page, Megan's team page, wherever, whoever your team is. Um, so that's your homework assignment. And other than that, um, our team will be in the Backstage Pass group. Please make sure you're there so you're adding excitement and everything, getting everyone all pumped up. Um, other than that, thank you guys for getting it. Oh, it's so awesome to see your faces. And we'll talk soon. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.